Have you been avoiding eggs because you're worried about your cholesterol? What if I were to tell you that eating five eggs a day is good for your heart? And not only that, but doesn't actually raise cholesterol after all. I used to eat egg whites only and avoid anything with cholesterol. But over time, my health got worse. Now I eat five eggs a day and not only do I feel great, my cholesterol hasn't changed. This really surprised me. After all, for decades, we've all heard about the dangers of cholesterol. So I decided to do some research and what I discovered about eating foods that contain cholesterol may really shock you. In this video, you'll uncover if eggs really are the dietary demons they've been cracked up to be, as well as learn their top five health benefits, plus two crucial things to avoid when eating eggs. Before you get the inside scoop on cholesterol and eggs, do me a favor and like this video and subscribe to Heart Disease Code. We've got amazing new content every week. And stick around because later in this video, we'll show you how to receive two free gifts on us. For years, researchers and health practitioners thought saturated fats and dietary cholesterol, both found in eggs, were one of the major causes of heart disease. But more recent evidence has shown that this isn't always the case. In fact, some researchers are now claiming that saturated fat does not cause heart disease at all. The first example of this is a Kenyan tribe called the Maasai. They eat a very high saturated fat diet, largely consisting of red meat and milk. Yet they have virtually no heart disease. However, when researchers followed Maasai, who moved into the big cities, and adopted a more Western diet, heart disease was detected. Secondly, let's look at the Women's Health Initiative, a very large study that followed 120,000 women from the 1970s to assess heart disease and cancer risk. And it determined that there were five risk factors they found for heart disease. These were smoking, overconsumption of alcohol, a diet high in sugar, and processed foods, a sedentary lifestyle, and obesity. Can you see what is missing here? That's right, cholesterol. Not one mention of cholesterol being a risk factor or the amount of fat consumed. Moreover, statistics show that only about 50% of heart attack patients have raised levels of cholesterol. Therefore, the other 50% have cholesterol levels in the normal range. So as you can see, there is more to heart disease than just cholesterol. In fact, evidence suggests that some people with higher cholesterol may actually live longer. And some scientists have found cholesterol seems to be protective against infections. For example, in 1992, American researchers discovered that low cholesterol predicts an increased risk of dying from diseases of the stomach, the intestines, and the lungs. These same researchers then went on to follow more than 100,000 healthy individuals for 15 years. They noted that those who had low cholesterol at the start of the study had been admitted more often to hospital because of an infectious disease. So it seems clear that lower cholesterol isn't always better. But what about eating eggs? We've already learned that saturated fat and high cholesterol may not be the cause of heart disease. So now let's unscramble the misinformation on eggs. It's true that eggs contain cholesterol. However, evidence now suggests that dietary cholesterol, which we get from our food, doesn't actually raise cholesterol in our blood. Dr. Juliet Gray from the University of Surrey reviewed numerous studies to see if eating eggs affects cholesterol in our blood. She concluded that dietary cholesterol has a clinically insignificant effect on blood cholesterol. This could be because only about one quarter of the cholesterol used daily by the body comes from the diet. The majority is created by our liver. Moreover, when dietary consumption decreases, the body will create more to compensate and vice versa. On top of this, studies have shown that eating eggs doesn't increase your risk of developing cardiovascular disease. For example, Harvard University conducted a study in 1999 
they found no association between heart disease or stroke for participants who consumed as many as seven eggs a week. This was also backed up by a 2016 study, which was published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition. It found that consuming an egg a day didn't lead to a higher risk of coronary heart disease or hardening of the arteries. Furthermore, a meta-analysis that looked at eight different observational studies concluded that there was no link between egg consumption and cardiovascular disease. Simply put, if you eat more cholesterol, your body will make less of it, as it's getting it from your diet. If you eat less, the body will make more. It's a beautifully balanced system. As you can see, eggs may not be as harmful as we once thought, and in fact, experts may argue that they have many health benefits. So here are the top five benefits of eggs. Number five, protein. Eggs are a great source of protein. A medium-sized or 58-gram egg contains 6.4 grams of protein and all the essential amino acids. Plus, the amino acids are in the perfect ratio for the needs of our bodies. But what is important about this? Well, amino acids are the main building blocks of our body. They help build muscles, cause chemical reactions in the body, transport nutrients, prevent illness, as well as perform other functions. Without adequate amino acids, immune function can suffer. It's also critical to note that consuming enough protein can aid with weight loss, increasing muscle mass, lowering blood pressure, and improving bone health. Number four, blood sugar. Eggs can be helpful in lowering blood sugar. This is great news for diabetics and of course anyone concerned about heart disease as diabetes is one of the major risk factors for cardiovascular disease. So let's learn about two studies that showed eggs can be helpful for lowering blood sugar. The first one was conducted in 2011. Diabetic participants were put on a high protein calorie restricted diet. They found that the individuals whose diet included eggs had improved blood glucose. The second study was on 42 individuals with either pre-diabetes or type 2 diabetes. It was found that with the consumption of one egg a day, the participants had 4.4% reduction in fasting blood sugar. This is great news for those looking to get blood sugar under control. However, the benefits of the eggs go way beyond this. Number three, Omega fats. Eggs contain omega-3 fatty acids, which are associated with lower risk of heart disease due to their anti-inflammatory nature. They're also known to reduce blood levels of triglycerides, a well-known risk factor for heart disease. In one study, eating just five omega-3 enriched eggs per week for three weeks reduced triglycerides by 16 to 18 percent. Further to this, consumption of these healthy fats have also been linked to lower blood pressure, increased HDL, the good cholesterol, preventing plaque formation on the artery walls, a reduced production of substances linked to inflammation. Moreover, a 2011 randomized controlled trial found that omega-3 consumption helped reduce inflammation in the participants and reduced anxiety. Due to the connection between heart attacks and inflammation in the body, eating foods that reduce inflammation may help support a healthy cardiovascular system. Number two, vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants. While the protein content of eggs is well known, there is less attention around their nutrient content. So let's have a look at what we get from them. Firstly, they contain important antioxidants. Two of them to note are lutein and zeaxanthin. These promote healthy eyesight and help prevent macular degeneration and cataracts. Secondly, eggs have a wonderful array of vitamins, such as vitamins D, E, K, E, plus B vitamins, B6, B5, B12, and B2. These are all important for immune health and keeping our cardiovascular system working optimally. However, it's important to note also that eggs contain essential minerals such as calcium, zinc, phosphorus, and selenium. Number one, choline. Choline is a nutrient that most people haven't heard of, but it's an incredibly important substance for heart health. Choline is used to build cell membranes 
plus higher intake of it is associated with a reduced risk of heart disease. Folate and choline help convert the amino acid homocysteine to methionine. This is critical as high homocysteine levels are a risk factor for heart disease. Interestingly, eggs are one of the few foods we can get choline from. This may seem ironic when eggs were demonized in the name of health for so long. But yet choline plays a vital role in keeping our cardiovascular system in good shape. But the benefits of eggs doesn't stop there. Further evidence suggests eggs could be beneficial for having healthy cholesterol. Some researchers now believe that small, dense LDL cholesterol results in higher risk of heart disease, whereas larger, more buoyant LDL cholesterol is healthier and lowers our risk of cardiovascular disease. Put simply, not all LDL cholesterol is created equal. But what's this got to do with eggs? A 2009 randomized controlled trial concluded that components of the egg yolk favor the formation of larger LDL and HDL cholesterol. Thus, eating eggs could help create the larger, more buoyant, and healthier form of cholesterol. This is good news in the fight against heart disease. However, before you go off and start enjoying the benefits of eggs, we need to stop and discuss the potential dangers of eggs too. We're about to learn the two crucial things to avoid if you eat eggs. But first, if you want to learn more about improving your heart health, then why not download our free ebook, The Surprising Truth About Fat and Cholesterol. And if you'd really like to understand the full picture for fighting and preventing heart disease, check out episode one of the Untold Story of Heart Disease documentary series. Both gifts are free and waiting for you now. Just click the link in the description below. We've just discussed the benefits of eggs, but what should we avoid? Research has shown that eggs from caged birds may be less nutritious. As we've mentioned earlier, eggs are a vital source of omega-3. However, caged birds tend to produce eggs that have a much lower amount of omega-3. This is also the case for other vitamins and minerals when compared to free-range varieties. One of the most important nutritional differences is the level of vitamin D. A study conducted by scientists from Reading University in the United Kingdom analyzed the contents of 270 eggs on sale in supermarkets. They found Birds that are allowed to wander outdoors produce eggs that contain up to 30% more vitamin D. This is vital to note as vitamin D is a critical hormone in the body. It has been shown to help keep a range of diseases at bay, including cancer, diabetes, and of course, heart disease. Vitamin D can only be found naturally in a handful of foods, so ensuring we get the most from the foods that do contain it is important in preventing disease. In addition to the increased level of vitamin D, free-range eggs also contain three times the level of vitamin E and seven times as much beta-carotene. So whenever possible, choose eggs that are free-range and pasture-raised. Our number one thing to avoid with eggs is cooking them in rancid vegetable oils. You might be thinking, wait a minute, I thought vegetable oils were heart healthy. Well, there is a body of evidence that suggests this may not be the case. If you're eating eggs fried in vegetable oil, you could be doing your cardiovascular system some serious damage. During the manufacturing of these oils, the seeds or nuts are exposed to light, heat, and oxygen. Let's take, for example, sunflower seeds. These seeds contain some wonderful health benefits, but they come surrounded by a hard outer shell. This protects the seed from becoming oxidized. Oxidation is a bit like rusting. If you think of an apple that's been cut up, after a while it turns brown, this is oxidation occurring, which is damaging the apple. Vegetable oils are high in polyunsaturated fats, which can be very good in their whole natural state. However, when oxidized, they can cause inflammation and increase the risk of the cholesterol in our blood becoming damaged, which can lead to blocked arteries. Another reason they are bad for heart health is they affect the blood vessel's abilities to contract 
and dilate, thus leading to a rise in blood pressure. So when enjoying eggs, we recommend poached or boiled, or if you really want to fry your eggs, try using another oil like coconut oil instead of vegetable oils. So there you have our top benefits and things to avoid when eating eggs. Make sure to stay tuned to Heart Disease Code to discover more wonderful nutrition and wellness insights. And once again, don't leave without grabbing both of your two free gifts. Just click the link below. Thanks for watching and have a heart healthy day.